Good morning. Good morning. Hi, friends. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. It's me, Robin. Robin Hallett. And welcome to Morning Magic. Welcome to, and number one husband making breakfast in the background. Hi, everybody. Could he be any louder? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Should we do it again? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. He's making himself some breakfast. <laughs> so good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, beautiful, amazing, gorgeous friends. Welcome to another new day um, and special time together with you and our love posse. So yes, please say hello to each other. And if you're watching on the replay later, it's still now. So Please play along with us. Hello, hello, hello. So let me say hi to you. Good morning. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Josie. Hi, TJ. Hi, Valerie. Yeah, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy new day. Um, happy new day. Did you hug yourself this morning? I wonder. Did you get yes. up and... What was that? Yes. I've got a smart ass son the, in the kitchen. That's what's going on over there. <laughs> I'm making yum yums. <laughs> Did you hug yourself this morning? Oh, I see. He's being good now. Oh, you're asking me now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Happy now. I hugged myself this morning. I hugged myself. I hugged a few of you. I hugged number one. I hugged the kids. It's very nice. You know, get up and be sweet to yourself in the morning. It's good. Let me say hi to you. Hello, Miss Melanie. Hello, Miss Amanda. Hello, Miss Roxanne. Yeah, it's so good. So good to be kind and gentle with yourself. Hi, Diane. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Carol. Good afternoon. Yeah, so you hugged yourself. That's good. And did you bring something yummy and delicious? I am all about the flowers today. Flowers, flowers. These come from Melanie. I love her poppies. They're so pretty. Hi, Shelly. Good morning. If you're just hopping on and you're hearing some noise, Number one is making breakfast in the background for himself. Not for me. No. Just for him. So. <laughs> and here comes our dump truck right on time. Boy, it's all happening at the zoo today, friends. Hi, Caitlin. So let us cheers one another. Cheers a new day. Cheers a new perspective. Cheers the memory, you know, of light of who we truly are and what we're doing. Cheers. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. Yeah, cheers, cheers, cheers. It is all about the flowers. Hi, Paulina. Wow. Good to see you. Hi, Bex. All right, I have to go downstairs and turn on a fan. <laughs> You know what that means, but there, that's better. I have a long dress on today, so if I hold the um, the lower half of the dress just right, it's billowing now. <laughs> Thank you, my friend, Carol. That's beautiful, clear and stunning and powerful. I, f you know, I do, I feel that's how it feels. It's it's a, a very interesting thing. Carrie says, hugging has become a daily ritual. Um, if I miss it, I stop and make it happen. Yeah. You know, I have become so um, emboldened doing our lives. Usually, you know, if you've known me from years before, I can be very like, it's okay. If you don't want to do it, I understand. Now I'm like, do it. <laughs> do it right now. Put your arms around yourself and hug. It's so important. Make contact. Make contact. Um, 
<laughs> Melanie, you lost your cup. I, if, you, if this is the pillow fort now, besides a hundred bajillion pillows and markers and books everywhere, there are cups everywhere too. But I kind of like it. You know, make it messy, make it your own. So, I, you know what I want to know, don't you? Did you pick a word of the day today? Did you choose something for yourself to stay aligned to, to stay um, on point for yourself today? I wonder. I would like to know. My word today is honest. I love that word so much. Um, it's really been powerful and helpful and... Um, these are powerful times. I don't really need to say that, do I? <laughs> it's a good reminder. Powerful times. And I feel like the things we choose to focus on are really important. So this is why we must choose intentional words for ourselves now. Create. That's beautiful. Yeah. As in, you know, what am I creating? And let me create. And let me remember I'm always creating. And let me remember. That's not that's your word so that's just what I'm thinking when I say that hi Caroline center beautiful beautiful find your center for Josie for Melanie it's knowing for Tanya it's opportunity opportunity as in noticing yeah for Carrie it's release that's beautiful knowing did I say for Melanie knowing I know. There is such a difference between I know, I know, versus I think. But, you know, this is just my interpretation. <laughs> These are your words. Hello, Miss Denora. I'm so happy to see you here. And I hope you said hi to Garrett for me. Childlike, that's a beautiful word, too. Childlike wonder, childlike joy. Stay for Bex. Stay. Carol, release my pain. I picked up some yesterday and I do not want to hold on to it. I want to process now and release and move forward. That's really, thank you for sharing that too, my friend. It's so understandable. It's so easy to do. Um, the inner and the outer, right? It just keeps ping-ponging together. So that's a really beautiful intention. And as per usual, you're right on track with the notes today. Okay, good. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Jeffrey. Hello, Roshni. A new day, Roxanne. Yeah, my word is honest. What feels honest? What feels true? Word of the day for Jeffy is action. That's nice. Hi, Aggie. So, um, there's a new podcast out this morning. It is talking about welcoming in our feelings, welcoming in all of how we're feeling, um, doing what we can to understand ourselves and get into if there's fear, if there's worry, if there's concern, we wanna help, we wanna be proactive, we wanna take action. I'm talking about the movements now, Black Lives Matter, um, Yes, they do, <laughs> and yes, and um, but also just all the feels that are coming up around that. I've been talking to some of you about this, and there's just like we have to stay present with our hearts now. We have to. I shouldn't say it like that. We sh we have to stay present in our hearts now, and so this episode is kind of dedicated to that. To I call it welcome it in. Nobody likes to welcome it in, you know. Um, when we're in pain or we're upset or we're hurt or we're afraid. Some of us have really been going through hard times personally and out in the world. It's just hard time is just not even, doesn't even say it, you know? Change is happening, transformation is happening and Transformation can feel violent in so many ways. You know, when I think about like the bulldozer, the cosmic digger next door, there is now a dirt pile taller than our house. Um, and when I watch that thing, that's the noise. Do you like my sound effects? Did you know morning magic comes with sound effects? It digs up everything. 
and it's not even like it's not carefully putting each thing into the digger bowl what's it called a digger bowl a shovel no a thing it's not carefully placing oh you know i don't want to bother hurt you and this and let's be careful no you're just getting you're getting all churned up your journey is being churned up the world is being churned up and you know that's intense it's very intense so it's one of these times um, a lot of us don't have never really been through something like this before and we're learning how to be present we're learning how to be present and so all of how you're feeling is okay and it's important to learn how to stay how to sit and stay just like a dog remember when you were a puppy and we were trying to train you how to sit and stay <laughs> you know like we have to learn how to stay it's okay you know you're in good company you're with yourself you are amazing company by the way and then God is with you, you know, God is with you. God is like the uh, cosmic digger, you know, we're in the shovel somewhere churning. Transformation is here and it could be here to stay. There could be a lot of shifts happening. And so we're together in that. We're together in the shovel. I kind of like this metaphor. You know, you're not alone. You're not the only one. We're all together and you can be present with yourself. A lot of us don't like it. I don't want to be present. I talk about this in the episode this week. It's 93, by the way, if you just are looking. Um, I don't want to hold my heart and be present with the feelings. I want to get rid of it. I want to get, get it lost. But when it's fresh and it's hot and it's new and it's raw and it's real and it's now, mm -hmm. I'm not talking about, you know, 28 years ago, this thing we're still carrying like this, you know, everywhere I go, I bring it to the party like a purse. It's like here. Mm, I'm talking about what's right now. We have to be present with it. We have to stay present with it and hold on and breathe with it in and out what do you so let's just do it instead of talking about it you know how are you how are you what do you need these are heavy times you know that's the first thing that comes to me these are heavy times I'm tired I feel tired I want to rest so make sure you're doing that kindness for yourself okay Hi, number one, kiddo. Did you pick a word of the day today? We were just talking about staying present with intense feelings. And what, even though you really want to run away and find some way to flush it all down the toilet, it kind of sticks to you. So that's what we were just talking about. Stay present, stay present, and love yourself. Oh, yeah. Good things are happening, too. I mean... It's sort of hard to separate it all out. You're having experiences you've never had before. You're having awakenings you've never had before. That's also because of this time. Things are speeding up like warp speed. That's also because of this time. Things you wanted to say and do and feel, things you wanted to see happen in the world, um, no, we're not going to wait 20 more years. It's now. And so if it feels um, violent or terrifying or, you know, you feel this sensation like things are going to explode at any minute and you're afraid, hold on. Hang on and remember Remember that there is good too. God is in the mix. It's for real. It's for real. <laughs> yeah. So at the top of my little notes today, I wrote surrender into the shift. <laughs> but you could also take the F out and it would be just as good. Surrender into the shift or minus the F. 
what would that look like for us now? Hi, friends joining. What would that look like for us now? I am going to go with. I'm going to go with the flow of what's happening now, you know? What's in the way is the way. I need to go into that way. The thing that's happening, I need to be here with it. So, um, I have to surrender into this. So, you could take a moment now. If you're relating to everything I'm saying, or just one little, one part of it, soften in and... Uh, I'm right here, and I'm going with. I'm going with. Liz says, my mind isn't letting me run away. My word may be balance. And remember, honey, the hugs. The hugs. And we're together. We're together. Number one kiddo. Tender day. You know? The hugs. The hugs. The love. So... Today feels like when I really ask spirit, what, what can we do? You know, the image I was shown, um, I'm kind of a civil war buff. I love learning about history and what happened and what's going on. And civil war time is something I've always been really drawn to study. So I don't know why, <laughs> cause I'm weird. I don't know, but, um, it, it, okay. Good. Carrie. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Hi, Amy. Good morning. Hi, Addie. Hi, Pax. I can't remember the middle, kiddo. Carol says, I think I need a constant release practice to process everything that's coming in on a daily basis. Amanda says, me too. Yeah, and I mean, that is the, um, that's the whole point. It's like so much more than we have known how to do. Monroe, thank you. Hi, Monroe. Hi, honey. You have, I've never been to one battlefield, not once. I drove through some areas once, but I've never visited. I'm just super curious, studied about the medical, um, just so many aspects. I mean, probably a lot more than you care to know, but so many fascinating things there. And especially, you know, what the Civil War was about which is these times again here we are you know working on this he more healing so yeah exactly Beck said it hi Stuart so my point was when I close my eyes and I take my pen and I just sit I ask spirit what comes through what is here for the posse today me included I see the Civil War I see the battles, I see the freaking exhaustion, I see the, um, I see men tripping, very, very simple little um, accidents that break an ankle, um, hurt, hurt yourself, they go without eating, they go without drinking, they're filthy dirty, that's a term, filthy dirty. A lot of disease came out of that time because we didn't know about self-care, we didn't know about practices like cleansing carol was talking about releasing same thing and so did carrie releasing is cleansing so when i'm shown something like that it's because today this time is about self-care it's about slow the f down this is a movement now that is going to be um forever i'll you know, I'm 51. I'm just saying while I'm in this body, I, that's my, um, the energy and awareness of this is going to keep flowing through. It's going to continue to evolve. We're elevating. It's not always going to be, um, terrifying. If you can identify with that energy right now, that's not it, but this is a movement that's going to, you know, take place now permanent and, just like transformation, spiritual transformation. The thing we always were going for. From the first time you picked up a deck of oracle cards or you got somebody gave you the first book you ever read on the journey or you had a reading and that sort of opened you up. This is where we were always headed. Greater awakening, greater awakening. So it's really important though 
to find that balance, to find that tenderness, to find that gentleness, to remember that, um, you know, there's another day and another day and another day and another day and another day. And every day we want to be able to be of service, right? In the world, to ourselves, to our families, all of that. Hi, Debbie. Good morning. Right? So self-care, compassion, and kindness. Also, you know, you don't need to read 800 our articles today and listen to 500 more podcasts today and um, watch, you know, you please take care of yourself, okay? Please. This is how, you know, this is how we do it for the long haul. Sometimes people say, Robin, I don't know how you do it because every day you're here every day and it's um, getting longer and, you know, and then I'm working. I, this is how I do it. I pace myself. I have lots of time in the day with downtime. I call it downtime. You know, I lay down and I just listen to the birds. I breathe. Sometimes I take a bath and for two hours. I get in the tub. I'm relaxed. So I'm practicing too, right along, or I cook. I do things that I enjoy and I I talked about this on the episode today. I put lots of things on the chopping block. This is my new, I like this term, chopping block. What needs to go? What am I doing right now that needs to go? Or how can I streamline this? You know, I just figured out something genius, which is, um, <laughs> you're going to laugh. I don't have to mow the lawn on the weekend. I can mow it on Monday or Tuesday. I can't even tell you the kind of freedom I found in that. <laughs> Because I have all these, you know, busy work days and then I'm recording and editing on the weekend a lot of times and I don't have to get it all in. Sometimes you realize like you're participating in stressing yourself out because you put too many things together and they're actually all things you like to do, you know? So why are we doing that? Yeah, it's good, good to ask. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah. Exactly. Chop, chop, chop. Nope, nope, nope. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Not do it. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Gone. Oh, that, I want to keep that. Okay, okay, good. It's a good practice. So, slowing down, taking a pause. <laughs> I I got a taste of Amy's household the other day. Um, and sometimes when Allie's here, same thing. You know, lots of little kiddos, lots of voices, lots of activity it's like a carnival you know it's like a carnival and sometimes when you're stressed out if you're stressed out i'm not talking about any of you i'm talking about just examples now those noises the banging the the constant swirling and whirling can be very very stressful right so if you're noticing that and and i feel like this is where it begins right here in your high heart um it gets very, very intense. So remember to hold on here. Thymus gland. This has a lot to do with your lymphatic system. Those of you who are feeling overwhelmed, your immune system. This is not woo woo mumbo jumbo. This is science. This is medicine. This is healing. Hold on. Big breath. Any snappers in the audience? Snappers? Snappy, crispy, snippy, bitchy, screamy. Hold this. Crabby, hold it. Hold it. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Um, it's, a, it's a new piece of information into the body. New piece of information. All is well. Right here instead of the thing spinning out into oblivion, whatever it is. I mean, you could be, I woke up Sunday morning and learned, you know, about another death, another police shooting. And I just, yes, this is my example for me. I was like that kettle 
that's boiling and then it's boiling so hard that the it's running out of water and the lid explodes off that was me in that moment so you hold on here and you just breathe and you know even if you just said here 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 are you saying it try it here 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 you can do this when your mind is running away, when your mind is, you know, creating fantastical disaster scenarios, or, you know, that inner narrator is telling you that everything is hopeless or out of control or whatever it is, or you're never going to be okay, or um, you're, you're beating up on yourself again. Anybody got that one? I... Phew, Man, I walked around yesterday. It was kind of um, comical because I was, I, at first I was feeling that kind of crazy insanity, anger. Um, I don't even know what to call that. And um, <laughs> and then halfway through the day, I was in tears walking around like, <laughs> you know that one? <laughs> You're like, oh. <laughs> Jeff said, <laughs> Jeff said, go out in the garden. It's hard if you're here every day and you're hearing me say all these things to you. You know, sometimes people tell me to take my own advice. It's very funny, but I did. So <laughs> it's just, it's we're, yeah. Thank you, my sister. We, you know, when we're hard on ourselves, we're beating up on ourselves. It's amazing how it doesn't occur in the moment, but sometimes a little bit after you can be like, why? Why did I do that? Sometimes you can feel the relief that it's over. You're so glad it's over. Ah, oh, okay. It's done. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But ask why, why did I do that to myself? Why did I do that to myself? That's... You know, and how can I be kinder next time? Um, I'm just looking down at my notes. How can I do it kinder next time? So slowing down, taking a pause, putting things on the chopping block. Yeah. What is not working for me right now? You know? Unwanted chaos. Unwanted drama, stormy energies. What's happening for you? That's the kind of stuff right now that we need to check it. It's not good for us. It doesn't help the world either. You running into, and when I go back to my Civil War analogy, one of the... One of the ones I saw was this guy tripped running with his um, bayonet, rifle thingy. I don't know. The thing, he's running, he's running, running, running. He trips on a root. And he cracks his ankle. And then he, like, hurts himself with that thing, he's, the weapon he's carrying. And he's out. Just like that. You know, sometimes that, we don't need to get to that point. We can just slow ourselves down. slow ourselves down. Tanya says, I'm still me, being me, even in the craziness, that's how I hug myself. Yeah, here, it's me, hi, it's me. Um, people are like, you have a lot of mirrors in the house. There's one here. Yeah, because then I look and I'm like, I got you, sister. I'm with you. We're together. Look yourself in the eyes. Make that contact. Really do it. It's important. Yeah. Yeah. We do knock ourselves out with worry. And it, it's so important to know that. And Caroline, same thing. You know, you need to stop. Stop. Sometimes all you can do is distract yourself. I had a healer early on who would talk to me a lot about distraction can be a friend 
because sometimes the ego has been allowed to go for so long on a train. This was me yesterday afternoon. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so pathetic. I was so pathetic. But then, you know, it started exploding. Like I couldn't get my laptop wasn't working. The mouse wasn't working. The, the cuts, the edits weren't. I was like, this is all shit. I have to delete this whole episode. You know how it is. Oh, gosh. But just shh, shh. So you have to distract yourself because you're so in it that you're already manifesting energy around you. You're, you're aligning to these things. So you got to distract yourself for a while. Go out, take a walk in the garden, put some music on. Music does it for me. I can put a song on and dance. Certain songs, it's just hard to stay upset through. And you're a good person still. If you feel guilt about that, you know, a lot of us are feeling like 24-7, um, I'm for the movement. I want to help heal, help the world heal. I want to learn. I want to wake up. I want to heal myself right on all sides of it. We're just like, and... It's no, <laughs> no, you have to take good care of you and live for another day and pay attention to the vibes. You know, some conversations you're having, you don't feel good afterward. That's guidance. Don't beat yourself up for that. Something is not working for you. Like I said, mowing the lawn on top of all of that. Uh, no, no. You know, working five days a week for me right now, no. No. So three days a week now. Yes. That feels good. What can you adjust? Um, no, you don't need to watch every news cycle to be up on what's happening. You know what's happening. You can practice in your heart right now. Jeff says, um, oh, good. Josie relates. Having cancer teaches a great lesson about worry, but I don't recommend it. It's better to follow Robin's advice. Well, we know, you know, a lot of us have been through our version of that, where your world changes without, uh, you didn't tick the yes box. It just happened in a way, you know? So we're all, yeah, we're in it now. Oh, our blue jay is here. So check it. The unwanted chaos, drama, and stormy energy. You got friends right now who are overwhelming, adding to your mix of not whatever. You know, what do you got to do there? What do you need to do? There's an ambition energy behind things when you push yourself, when you don't want to, but you do it because you don't know what to do. You know what I mean? So you're like, well, I don't know. I don't know how to, how, I, how, uh, <laughs> how would I tell them no? So you're like, okay, I'll do it anyway. I'll have the conversation. I'll have them over. No, no, I said no. <laughs> It doesn't matter. The most important thing is that you honor how you're feeling. I like how my hair is like starting to come out of the... <laughs> it's, I got a little rooster tail. Um, right? No. That's the most important thing is how are you feeling? Don't go with that ambition energy and run yourself over. You need rest. You need time. You need time to unwind, unwind. We help each other, honey. Thank you. So check that out. And surrender and shelter, shelter. I love the word shelter. For a while we were saying shelter in place and I didn't really love that, but now just the word shelter was given to me this morning along with the surrender and that's beautiful. Shelter yourself. It's okay. How would you shelter yourself in a self-caring way? 
How would you shelter yourself in a self-caring way? I, that, I just did that right there. I took a breath. I took a pause. I took a big breath. I saw oh, this here. Yeah, Carol. You know, we're super high-powered people, and aren't we? Energetically speaking, we have a lot of energy, a lot of power in <laughs> this thing. <laughs> And let's not take it too seriously. Um, we have a lot of power flowing in our, in our, and we can be intense. And when we're intense, we're a lot like that kettle boiling at full bore, um, running out of water inside. So shelter, it's so nice. Shelter, give yourself some peace today. Take some breaks today. You know, don't be... Don't be that one who trips on the root and takes yourself out. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Amy. Tanya says, I had a big sense of surrender this weekend to embrace the shelter life. Yeah, yeah. And I was even thinking, I, I was reading that is Arizona going back into a mode of sheltering in place with the corona? my friend I'm noticing some of that too where it's like reopening and then oh no no get nope it's happening again so energetically it feels a little bit I know here in town they're starting to open restaurants outdoor and close out the streets and put the tables in the streets and um yeah the hot spot the energy to me feels um like you know, when you're sick of how you feel and you just push yourself to do anything but this, it's in a way, it's like, I, I just want to be done. So you decide we're done and the universe is like, that's, hi, no, <laughs> who's God here? Not you. <laughs> you're God in a body, but I'm still God. You know, we have to sometimes just <sighs> shelter in place, shelter, kindness, rest. Jeff says, every moment of peace we can remember to claim is a win. Yeah. And Amy says, time to go deeper. It feels, you know, that's it. We're peel It's more and more is peeling away. I never loved that analogy when people would say to me, you know, we're like an onion, lots and lots of layers. And I'd always be like, that's what I, inside. I wouldn't do that to somebody, but like in school or. The journey's like an onion, but you know, <laughs> don't tell them. They were right. It's, it's, we're going deeper. We're going deeper. We're going deeper. Yay. Liz says, I like that, Dad. Yeah. It's a win. Yeah, it is good, honey. <clears throat> And you build on that, and you build on that, and you build on that, and that's how we go deeper. You know, you're awake, and you're doing things. I mean, look at you today compared to January. Look at all, you know, this is a beautiful exercise to ponder. I think about myself too, just, wow, have things shifted for me. I know who I am in such a deeper way, and I'm able to stay present in a way there's a there is a clarity here that is very very different yeah that's exactly um what bex wrote sinking deeper seems like a bad thing at first but it helps you know whenever i say i talked about this in this week's podcast whenever i say okay stop 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 let's sit with this you know can we be here now? Let's close our eyes. Some of you know I've done this with, to you, with you. <laughs> Hold on. Come on. Shh. And sometimes I have to say, shh, because the temptation is I'm going to talk, talk, tell you another story. No, 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 no. And you're trying to run. You're trying to run away. You're right here talking to me and you're trying to run away at the same time. So, you know, 
I have my Wonder Woman lasso, I guess. Come on, right here, right here. We're scared, a scared of being here, but this is your moment of peace. It's a powerful moment to say, I am not okay. <sighs> There's safety. Telling your truth, there's safety there. I feel scared. I feel concerned. I feel um, whatever, you know. I feel some of you are going through stuff and you're like, I, I'm such a screw up, you know. I, I always mess it up. I can't get my crap together. No, you know, that's not true and that's not kind um, but if we can't hold here and just be together and breathe with it, we can't move that boulder out of the heart that is the boulder of BS, you know? We can't move it out. So you got to be here. you got to love yourself and be kind. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be with this. I don't want to ponder this. I don't want to process it. But that's exactly what we want to do. We want to learn to be here, to be soft in our bodies. You guys, you love me so good. I appreciate that. Um, it's a kindness. And you're not going to get stuck here. That's the other funny thing. I... Somebody I love, I've been working with since the 90s. I adore her. And she is, um, I don't know, you know how you meet people you work with, you fall in love with them because they're just like very sweet and she's not here. I'm never talking about you, by the way. Sometimes you guys write me, I would, no, I wouldn't come here and talk about you like that. If I do, I say your name, as you know. So she comes and she's like the most adorable person and um, older than me, 20 years at least. And I'm always like, come on, come on, come on, let's do it. Come on. No. She's like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Why? Because they're going to have to cart me off to the loony bin if I feel this. Well, guess what? This is the loony bin. You're living it 24 seven. You just have an illusion that you're functioning fine. <laughs> you're feeling it. It's there all the time. You're feeling it all the time. All we're saying is, now I'm going to witness you. I'm going to acknowledge you. And now you're free to go. How about that? Now you're free to evolve and change because we gave you our attention consciously, intentionally, presently. Isn't that so good? Yeah. Yeah. We'll give it some, some air, give it some space. And you know, nobody's gone to the loony bin yet doing this practice. You know how it happens is trying to deny it, trying to hold it in. Spiritual farting. That's really what we're talking about. You can't hold these things in for very long, friends. It's, you know, it's not, it's not going to work. So, the commitment is, yeah, the commitment is, to your heart, to stay in your heart, and to stay in this commu this community. This is our community, you know? We are the ones we've been waiting for. We come here every day and stay present in our hearts. Um, we face fears together, we grow together, we change together, and it's powerful. and. Because we're doing that here, we are helping the world. It's a vibration, it's a light, um, it's a love, it's a love that we're offering and it does have an impact. So don't forget that. Be present. Yeah, 
How about we do some healing? A little bit of a healing today. And we can use the um, chimes too. So if it's not, if energy healing is not for you, that's totally fine. Just do this in front of your face or you're not in the space to receive right now. And you can always receive it later. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Stuart. You know, that's getting easier too. I will say, just while I'm starting here, the receiving thing is really interesting because <clears throat> I, it feels like I was very uncomfortable for a long time receiving feedback or compliments. And there was a worry with that, wondering about, I don't want people to think I'm full of myself. And that was a place I really had to sit with because that's exactly the practice I needed to do, is sit with that and say, what's really going on here? And if you can't presence, it's uncomfortable. I didn't, it's icky feeling, you know? And also I wanted people to acknowledge me. You know, it's not just one, it's always, you get both sides of it. So you're uncomfortable with the, the recognition and the acknowledgement, but on the other side, you're like, damn it, acknowledge me. I don't know what this is, but hi, here's my CV, acknowledge me. But then somebody acknowledges you, oh no, no, you're uncomfortable. You, so right there, if you can relate to that, this is where we have to sit and say, I am that, I am amazing. I am a child of God, I am a spark of the divine. I do have things to offer just by being me. I'm saying this for you, actually, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like that too, we can settle in and allow the energy. Just, yeah. What if you could sit with that? What I found, what I found in really sitting with that, especially as I would feel upset that people weren't saying thank you or acknowledging me, they were. And they weren't. There were plenty of people not. Um, and not getting recognition for things I was doing. Um, you know, not getting enough likes or accolades or what do you call those hearts on the posts or whatever. I started to sit with that because, you know, I also felt embarrassed to be feeling that way. There were so many things. <laughs> And I don't feel embarrassed now. I know you need to hear this. You know, I know it's just, I went through it so now we can talk about it, you know. Um, I What I really learned is I was afraid to stand in my power. That's all it came down to. I was afraid to stand in my power. I don't know if you're afraid to stand in your power, in your healthy life force to be empowered, but... Um, you don't get a choice anymore. <laughs> it's too, that ship has sailed. You need to do it. <laughs> you have to. Thank you, Tanya. We have to stand in our light now. These people we, and study with people, you know, this is why we want to study with people who are blowing our minds in the way they're sharing from their center. Um, they might be angry. They might have huge uh, messages and big energy coming, but they are in their center and they are in their place. They're in their seat of power. And what's coming out is so clear. And that's what we need. I'm glad, Amy. Thank you. Yeah, I notice it sometimes, you know, if I give you guys a compliment, I can tell it's being deflected. But, you know, that's okay. You can take it out later, like a cookie. If I give you a cookie, you don't have to eat it in front of me. You know, take it, take it and go. We used to say to Winston, take it and go. <laughs> take it and go. He Winston would always take cookies like um, communion wafers for real. <sighs> Miss that boy, <laughs> but he's right here. He's right here today. 
You, yeah, so, you, you know, you can take it out later. And one nice place is stop defending yourself inside yourself. You know, oh, I don't want them to think I'm... Just keep putting that piece down. Yeah, what Beck said right there. This is the community. That was the last two words I wrote was community commitment. The more brave and less alone knowing, I feel more brave and less alone knowing I have my love posse who's also embracing their feelings and their higher self. That's the thing. It's like we need to be where that is happening. We're working on ourselves and we're helping each other. Tanya says, I'm a bit of a hoarder. I love the idea of taking it out later. Yeah, yeah. Um, I save, I don't know why I'm looking. The phone is right in, hi. The phone's, I was looking for my phone. <laughs> At least it wasn't the glasses that were on my head thing. The phone is right there. I usually take a screen capture and I keep them in a little album called Kindnesses. And I do like to reflect back. Especially if you've ever been somebody who you get a compliment and you're almost like, it's like a hot potato. What the hell is that? I'm like, you are an amazing. Thank you. For <laughs> Thank you for you're like, you can't even take it. You're like, throw it back so fast. <laughs> no, take it and keep it for a while. Jeff always says the gift of the gift is giving the gift. Think about it. If somebody gives you a compliment, if somebody shares beautiful feedback with you, you're not supposed to give them something in return, you know, like give them, you're supposed to receive the gift. And for the giver, that is the gift. They, they gave is what they got. Am I making any sense at all? So that feeling like I must return the thank you or I must do something in return. Sit with that. <laughs> yeah. So much learning here, right? So much learning here. We are growing as a as a community. It's it's amazing. All right. You know, last night I was at a class with Paul Selig. This intensive he does. If you ever see him do them. You can um, definitely sign up. It's so worth it if it call, if his work calls to you. He's a very different style of channeling. Um, you know, you get used to it. But last night, for the first time, the guides said to him something like, "Are you ready, Paul?" And I was like, "Ready for what?" He repeats everything twice. That's what's a little intense. Like he's whispering to himself. And then he says it out loud. So they say, are you ready, Paul? Paul, get ready. And Paul's like, oh, you know, he's a little bit of a reluctant channeler, which I kind of dig because I feel like that too a lot. Um, and he sang out a note. And you know what the note was? I kid you not. It was this note. I don't know how long he sang it for. He took several big breaths. I am so glad I don't have to do that on camera. I do it with these. But this was an elevation, a sound of elevation. Yep, cool. I really hit those things together, didn't I? <laughs> hmm. These are called tuning forks. Some people call them Reiki tuning forks. You can look into that. Yeah, I. then we did it together, Stuart. I do them all. Then we were there together. Powerful stuff. His first three books are um, free on audio on the, at the library if you have a library app too. Highly recommended. I am the word is the first one. 
Yeah. The Midwest nice, Carrie. Yeah. So let's just do three quiet swoops now. Are you ready? Being here in the room, I can I can feel it. So, <clears throat> what kind of day is it today, friends? I spray with the love spray too. I spray me. I spray you. What kind of day is it, friends? You can be kind. And be sweet. <laughs> sure, Liz. Sure. You're going to be gentle. You're going to practice. You're going to shelter. You're going to take some rest. Robin said so. I love you. And, um,. I can't believe I didn't say it once today. Don't forget who you really are. Who you really are is not just the personal self. Okay? You're God in a body. And your highest goal is to remember that in all the ways and be you wherever you go. So it's not about your personality self or your ego, your ego stuff, you know, union. Love you, friend. Can somebody type now? You're welcome, Bex. <laughs> Bex calls me Robs. <laughs> so cute. A lot of people do. I'm just saying. This morning, Jeff called me Rabindo, Carrie. Carrie's the only one who says that. Okay. Wow, that's a laggy. Now. Okay. Now. Peace. Now. Love you too. Now. 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 New. Now. Now is always new. I love you, and you are love. Thank you too, beautiful. I'll see you in the, yeah, nice, isn't it? We have a sweet thing going on here at the house. Thank you. Right here. Thank you, too, Carol. Thank you, Roxanne, Carrie, Amy, Melanie, Tanya, Bex, Josie, Amanda, Paula, Maggie, Elizabeth, Jeff, Debbie, Robin, TJ, Caroline, Roshni, Stuart, Anna, Amy, and company, Caitlin, Valerie, 